Hi, boardies. Welcome to the Game of Fleet. This is a game designed by Benjamin Pinchback and Matthew D. Riddle, and it's been published by Eagle Griffin Games. So, opening it up, you'll see first and foremost, everything's inside. Very neat and nicely compacted, so you don't have any wasted space. This is a game whereby you're looking to acquire fishing licenses, including lobster. You're looking to captain boats, which look like that. You're looking to send out vessels, fishing boats such as a king crab boat here, and the catching crates of fish found in these bags as well. Now I've deliberately put them into two bags, it comes in one, because if you're playing two players, you're playing with 50 crates instead of 100, if you're playing it to four player, and three player, you'll play with 75. So you're gonna to choose to bid on some of these crates and some of these licenses, uh, not crates, and try to get the best score you can. So you have various little player raids as well, which I'll just leave out to show you for reference. And all these cards are gonna get shuffled before you start. Aside from that, you're gonna make sure every player takes six cards and they're all going to be unique. So you have lobster, shrimp, processing vessel, tuna boat, king crab, and cod. So each player takes a set like that. Just sword out the deck and then shuffle the rest. Then depending on the number of players, you are going to um, create a stack of licenses that you're going to be bidding with. Now, depending on if you're playing at two player, you're going to remove a different amount of cards. So I'll just show you what these standard cards look like. You have lobster, tuna, shrimp, cod, and a few other things, processing vessel. And what you want to be doing is taking anything that's a premium license, and a premium license will say king crab or a fisherman's pub, and you're going to shuffle them firstly face down, taking three of them. These three will go back in the box. And then over here, you're then going to take out 10 cards. So shuffle them, and just a very quick shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're then going to take four, leave them aside. These are going to go out of the game. And then these ones are going to get shuffled into this deck here. So you've now got some premium licenses. Just to let you know, premium licenses cost a bit more and are tricky early on to play. The first four cards, where those regular licenses, they go back over here. So now what happens is you're going to place out these auction cards. So to starting who starts, so let's say I start, I'm just showing it set up for one player. I might well record a two player playthrough, it takes about half an hour. 40 minutes, 65 to 60 minutes if you're playing at four player as, as an example. You're gonna reveal these two cards. So we have a COD license and we have a tuna license. So I can bid on one of those things. The second player can of course uh, choose to bid or pass and then they can choose to get the next card at the minimum cost as well. Now, when you choose to look at these cards, there are different abilities. For example, in this edition, when I get onto the launching phase, if you launch a boat, you're gonna be able to draw a card. And over here, a tuna vessel or license means that when you get onto the, the draw bonus, which we'll get down to in a moment, when you happen to do the drawing phase, not only do you draw two and only keep one, you get to actually keep both of them. So let's go through these cards. All these cards are slightly different. They have a cost. These are costs that you're using as money. So minimum cost of four, I could use a lobster and a shrimp boat or boat cards to basically bid for that. So you've got different values down the bottom. You have different costs. These are costs to launch the boats, which I'll get onto. You have victory points if you have any launch boats, and that's just showing you what the symbol is. So in this instance, I'm gonna bid, as an example, on a COD license. So I'm gonna do two cards face up and say, yeah, I'm gonna bid for that. Also noticing I'm choosing not to use up a COD card, which I'll come back onto. So the COD boats are gone. I've bid four, nobody else bid, I take the card. Now, if this card gets taken, then two new cards come out at the end of the round. If not, another card comes out for the next round. And if neither card gets taken, then they both go away. The game ends when all those cards go as well. So let's go through the next steps of what will be happening. So we have in front of us my COD license. We now move on to the next phase. That was the auction. The next phase is the launch boats. So you look at my boats and I have a COD boat. I'm gonna to choose to launch my COD boat. And with my ability, I now get to draw a card. Straight away, I can take this card. Now, it does cost me two. So I look through them, and yeah, let's spend the card I just have. I've spent two, 
to discard to ensure that's been launched. Now I can captain something. I'm going to take a card, in this case I'll use something cheap in terms of money, to captain it. When you captain something, so I'm hiring a captain, you then actually catch fish, which I generally find is the same kind of phase, and you'll be getting a crate of fish. Then you move on to the processing and trading phase. If you have a processing vessel, you can take a crate of fish and move it here. That now becomes money, and you can use it to bid, or maybe to launch boats, or maybe some other things. Lastly, if it comes off here, it's not worth a victory point. If it's on a captain card, it is. You finally move on to the draw phase. You're going to draw two cards, and you're going to pick one of them. So they're the same. Now, if I had that tuna boat, I'm going to get both. Why do you want to keep them? Well, money is very important because you're bidding for licenses and for getting out new boats, as well as other things. You might want to diversify and get lots of different kind of boat cards. So whatever license you're bidding on, you can choose to go for. Maybe you want to notice that you've already got a COD license, so you need to keep a COD license in your hand. And remembering that even though it's a free action to place down a captain, it's still going to cost you a card that you've had to place down there. So in this case, like I said, I used a king crab worth one. At the end of the game, once again, that deck's run out. You're then going to see how many points you have, how many points you get from licenses, so four here, two for the boat, and if that was on there, there'd be one for the crate of fish. And it times it about all the other things you have. See if you have the most, and you win. Very good quality cards, very, very thick, very nice. This was a Kickstarter game, and uh, lovely artwork, really like that too. I have eaten uh, fish and then played fleet. I have played the game of fleet in fleet. In fact, I was on a canal boat just before playing this as well. In terms of how the game works, um, it's very tight in terms of keeping an eye on your money, basically getting your, those cards as a resource, uh, being aware that you still have to pay stuff, noticing that you have other cards here, such as the shrimp card, which makes things cheaper to launch. And ultimately, if you've got a couple of these, you're able to get most of the boats out for free. If you happen to overpay, you'll get no change. And if you happen to get more of the same type, as you can see, things get better. If I launch a boat, I'll get three cards if I've got three COD licenses. So you're looking to maybe get lots of boats out or captains or considering getting lots of licenses. So there's an engine building aspect, a very nice mechanism, but you have to be aware when do you start switching from getting out you know, expensive licenses to choosing to get out your boats. Additionally, every single round, you're getting more and more cubes on here, up to a maximum of four. So there's something else to be aware of. I'll just touch on some other bits. So this is a game, I think it's a very good game. It's a bit heavier than most things. It is ages 10 plus. And there's an expansion. You can get a Fleet the Dice game, which I have here, called uh, Captain's Club and the Research Vessel. These are premium licenses. And in this instance, it's going to cost you a minimum of 10. You'll get seven victory points. If you have a full boat, then it can go here and get two victory points per full boat in the captain's club. Finally, we have the research vessel. You can take two of the cubes and place them on here at a cost, basically, so they come out of the game. And when they come out of the game, that's it. You have your pool of fish crates you can take from and then discard a pile which you'll not draw from again. If this runs out first, the game ends as well. So in this instance, at the end of the game, you're getting two victory points, but it's like captaining a card and like launching. And if you've got any of these launch bonus things, then it's very effective. You only get one launch bonus though per round. So some rounds you might be launching, some rounds you might, might not. Sometimes you might be launching but not captaining. And that's something to be aware of. Again, you will not get a fish crate unless you've captained. There are lots of other expansions for this game, which I haven't played, including the Casino and Wharfside and Arctic Bounty. And in Ridback Bay, when you're trying to get the most fish, this is the kind of game that you want to uh, do well at. So hopefully you found this of interest. Um, like I said, it's a nice, thoughty kind of game without being too long. Lovely, neat size as well. And I love the way everything fits very nicely inside of the, the box. Aside from that, um, I do recommend, you know, trying out different things. You know, like I said, Tuna gets you more of those different cards out. Other things give you other abilities, maybe if you want a captain and trying to go for maybe the lobster license, you can try and get set seven captains out. So if you get seven captains, you get more of an ability. Aside from that, you have the king crab. So every captain boat will give you a victory point up to 10. I mentioned the processing vessel. If ever you actually process something, you could be getting a card. There's the fisherman's pub. This gives you 10 straight up victory points 
for uh, at least 10 money, $10. And here, when you captain club, when you happen to captain a boat, when you have one to three captains during one, but you get two if you have at least four of those captains. Now, that's as soon as you get a captain. If you have two of these licenses, if you have one to two captains, you get one card, three to six, two, seven or more, then you get three. So I tend to actually disarrange the game back to its uh, premium ability or not. And there are three different these King Crab cards you can focus on too. Aside from that, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And lastly, check the comments and descriptions for anything else that I may be missed off or anything to that effect. I look forward to you obviously discovering the game of fleet yourself. All the best. Speak very soon. Bye for now.